Okay, this video is for the COJUSD Google Certified Student Program, and these are the tasks for a Google Calendar. So the first thing in your list there says to uh, create a new calendar. So to do so, we're going to go over here to our toolbar on the side. We're going to scroll down to where it says Other Calendars, and we're going to click the plus button. And we're going to then hit Create New Calendar. All right, so as it says in your list, we're going to title this New Calendar Avengers Assemble. Okay, and then we hit create calendar and you wait for it to create. It may take a second. Okay, once you see this here, here once it says configure, that means it's done. Then you can go ahead and go back. Your next task there says to share your Avengers assemble, assemble calendar with someone. So if you scroll down here where it says my calendar, you'll see the Avengers Assemble calendar has been added to your list of calendars. So we're going to go ahead and click on the three little dots here. We're going to go to settings and sharing. We're going to scroll down to right here where it says share with specific people, and we're going to hit add people. So we're going to, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put someone's name in there. And then we'll, we'll hit send, and now it's been shared with somebody. You can see all the people you share it with will be in a, a list as you share it with more people. We're going to go ahead and go back now. And the next thing there says to create an event. So to create an event, we're going to hit this big white create button right here. And this pop-up here, before we do anything, we're, we're adding any details. We're going to go to more options here. So we can now go full screen and see all of the tools available to us. So it says here to so title the event, Avengers Watch Party. And there it says, <clears throat> set the date and time for next Friday. So <clears throat> I'm going to click on the first date right here, the start time. And next Friday for me will be on the 20th. That may be different for you. And then set the time for 7 p.m. So scroll down, 7 p.m. From there it says invite someone to the event. So we're going to go ahead and add a guest. Okay, I'm going to put someone's name in there, anybody you like. And then from there we're going to go down to the description. So we're over here on the side here we're going to scroll down where it says add description. And you type the description as it says on your list, bring your own popcorn. And from there, we're gonna then, then we're going to set the event to repeat every Friday. So here's my, my repeat button here. I'd like to go down here to custom. And I'm going to make sure I click on Friday. Hit done. And now it's going to repeat every Friday. Next uh, thing we'll do, we are going to, <clears throat> we're going to add this event to the Avengers Assemble calendar, the one we made earlier. So to add that to the Avengers Assemble calendar, we're going to go over here where you see your name right here. This is your default calendar with your first and last name. But as you create more calendars, you can add it to different calendars. So I'm going to click there and look down to my list. There's Avengers Assemble. And then from there, the next thing we're going to do is set two notifications. So right here it says add notification. I'm going to go ahead and click there. So my first notification will be a simple pop-up notification 10 minutes before, but I'm going to add another one and I'm going to make it be an email notification at a different time. So I click this button again, and it gives me two of the same. So I'm going to change the second one here from notification to email. And I'm going to make it one day. You can, it doesn't matter which ones you set, as long as that these two are different, and then they're at different times. Next, you're going to, you're going to attach a document to your uh to your calendar so you, you're going to attach the the avengers doc the one that you created during the google docs performance task you're going to attach that to this calendar event so i'm going to go to attach it i'm going to go to the attachment button right here this little paper clip click there it's going to open up my drive and i'm, I'm going to go ahead and search for my, the avengers there it is that's the doc i want and now it's been attached to this event next thing we do is go ahead and just simply save the event on the calendar send <clears throat> and now it's on my calendar uh, so for last thing you have to do is subscribe to someone else's calendar so when you subscribe to someone else's calendar other people's calendars will then appear here in your other calendars so you're looking at other people's calendars that other people have shared with you or you're subscribed to will show up in this list here so when I subscribe to someone's calendar it's going to show up here in this list to do so I'm going to click the plus button right here next to other calendars hit subscribe and I'm going to type in the person's name that I want to be able to see. There it is. <clears throat> if it asks you to request access, then you're good to go. And you are done. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Send me an email or message me on Google Hangouts.